Here's Mark Ingram. Side Ingram. Ingram breaks a couple of Oh, my goodness gracious. Hard running by Ingram. Such a hard guy to tackle. A 5'10", 215-pound package of power, Mark Ingram's productivity this season has been characterized by his ability to stay upright. Ingram has gained more than half of his yards after contact. Yards after contact, I think, as a running back, you have to take a lot of pride in that. You know, you can't always block all 11 defenders on the field. So, you know, you have to have uh, the ability to make somebody miss. Just getting those yards elevates your offense, elevates your game to a different level so y'all can be successful as a team. There's a lot of guys that have size and they have speed, but some guys, they don't want to come down here. They're a little timid coming down here, and that's, that's not in Mark's game at all. He'll come right down here, and he'll hit you in the mouth no matter how big you are. He's got a unique sense of power about him in terms of getting on the edge of tacklers and being able to break tackles and actually make yards after contact. If there is a run indicative of Ingram's contribution to the Tides this season, it is this one in the third quarter of Alabama's October win over Kentucky. He ran up in the line and nothing was there. I just kind of hopped step back in the middle. There was a, a little small team right there and I just burst it right through it. He ran for like 30 or 40 yards. Broke an tackle. There he goes! Touchdown Alabama! I didn't believe it. I thought he would get tackled for sure. That was probably like oh, my favorite run of this year because it just showed patience, power, and explosion all in one run. Ingram's ability to stay on his feet after the first hit has allowed him to lead the nation with 29 rushes of 15 yards or more. Ingram just first off the left side. When I'm closing on the defender, he's trying to close the cushion. I know he's sitting up on me, so I'm going to stick him this way so he gets off balance. He's going to set his feet. And if he sets his feet back like this, I might run him over. But if he bites on the move, if he bites over this way, I'll just come like this. The secret to yards after contact would be how much want you have to get the extra yards, how much want you want to make the defender feel you when you're running the ball. You don't want to receive the hit all the time, you want to give the hit. So I would say it would be your desire.